tips for shooting and placing markers on the upper or top or intermediate landings. Now in this particular example, we actually have just a small landing area at our office. And the installation of the rail would come off the top step and probably terminate on this wall. And these two markers here uh, give the fabrication people the information of the exact length of that wall in combination with the markers along the baseboard here because we have no chair rail. So there is no plumb profile of any obstruction along the wall to inhibit the flow or the installation and operation of the chair on the rail. Now if this were an intermediate landing we would have the markers continue along the wall where the door is at this time and then at this point you would have stairs going up so those markers that I have on the floor would at this point be the markers continuing up the next flight of stairs but in this instance we've also used in a little bit of an example of what if your chair came up the stairs along this wall and by customer request terminated in the hallway. So we have to give it all this information here. The, the width of the door and they also would know from this how far the door comes off that that back wall that's behind the uh, our, our door at this time. I apologize for not being able to take the door off the hinges to show you, but um, and it gives it enough information to do the wrap. And then again, in your real world, you'd have to go down the wall with enough uh, room to terminate the chair. These two markers in the middle here are simply here to give me point count. They indicate nothing, but then when I am taking a shot from the hallway and using a ladder, I can get up and get those markers included in my shot. And again, with the wide angle lens of our still camera and possibly a little more height, my little three-step ladder here, I can get overlap in subject matter both in the hallway, in the doorway, and on the landing. And that ties everything in. And there's a good angle over here. Then, as I take a shot from the left-hand angle, if I have to go out into the doorway, Again, from up on the ladder and with the wide angle lens and the door not in the way, you would get sufficient information at a different angle, at a height where everything is clearly visible, and where the door is not in the way, you'd see that full wall. And probably with our uh, still camera, you would probably get most of that wall um, holding the camera in either a horizontal or a vertical position with the wide angle that uh, that that can that uh, camera has but let's uh let's go back so that's that's how you would accomplish getting extra markers out here if this were a stair itself you would use the first or second probably the second step up to get information um, at your feet on the stairs and across the landing to get that all in one picture. You probably get a shot, or you should get a shot, excuse me when I say probably, I mean definitely, from inside the landing that includes the installation wall and as much, um, as many other markers as possible. And again, with the wide angle lens, that would be easily to, easy to accomplish. And whether it's the top landing or an intermediate landing, probably from the first or second step down, you should get a shot from here, including the ones in the hallway. 
and probably with the wide angle lens I'd be able to get a shot of uh, my feet and a good portion of the landing um, by holding the camera up higher and you get a lot of overlap and then you don't want to forget which I seem to the first time around if we have a wrap around to get a shot from the inside of the landing um, with as much overlap as you can of the doorway and, and the wraparound to the hallway um, termination area. Now again, if this doorway wasn't here and there were steps, you'd have markers on each step like you do on all the steps and they would be um, your next step up and instead of the ladder from the hallway, you'd shoot from the second step up, proceeding up the stairs uh, and back across. And of course, on some intermediate landings, you will have a doorway over on uh, one wall or another. Now, obviously that doorway cannot be on the, on the installation wall, unless they're willing to sacrifice and block that doorway off. But uh, you'd be able to go out that doorway and shoot in to get a perspective of the markers. So again, um, if you've got everything marked for the installation run and you know in this instance ours is going to terminate here but we're going to in your real world situations you may run out into the hallway or you may run up another flight of stairs in that area where our door is in, on an intermediate landing but uh, if you cover all the angles with variations in height, use the downward steps and the upward steps to give you additional positions to photograph the landing. Use um, doorways, if available, at top landings, or doorways, if available, on intermediate landings to get angle, and you get um, as many markers as you can, clearly as possible, with clearly discerned um, targets with the patterns available um, you will do okay